Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And today I'm going to be talking about what is gold discount and how do you get it? <laughs> okay, so um, this is pertaining to Rite Aid and I make a lot of instructional videos on how to coupon effectively at Rite Aid. Um, I have them linked in a playlist. It's called Rite Aid What to Know. And if you click on my YouTube name, it'll take you over to my homepage and just scroll down a little bit and you can see my playlist and you can look through there. There's lots of instructional videos. So if the videos get outdated, like this one I've done in the past, it's a little outdated. Uh, so I redo them. If you feel like I'm not answering your questions in any of those videos, feel free to um, leave questions on one of my videos. I read all my comments and I reply to it two of them for the most part. Okay, so um, I do have some frequently asked questions towards the top of the playlist, so those may be really quick ways to get answers that you want out of those. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about what the gold discount is, um, how do you get it, how long can you keep it for, what's it going to do for you, <laughs> do you really want it? Yes, that's easy. Um, and um, yeah, and if you're, should you try to get it by the end of this year? <laughs> and how you can tell um, kind of what you're going to need to do to get there. Uh, okay, so basically, it's a um, gold discount is a point system that they have. Um, I'm, I'm on Rite Aid's website here. Bronze, silver, and gold. And you can see on this receipt right here, it says wellness plus status gold. So all the cards um, that I use, I have been maintaining them at gold every year and just, and always have gold discount, okay? Um, so it's a point system and the bronze status is zero to 499 points. Yeah, you know, doesn't do much for you. Silver uh, discount is 500 to 999 points. That gets you 10% off just about everything in the store. And gold discount is when you hit a thousand points, and that'll get you 20% off of just about everything. And that's off of the regular shelf price, not sale price. And there are exceptions, just like they have here on the back of the receipt, these exceptions for what your bonus cash can spend. You can't earn wellness points for, um, you know, uh, alcohol, tobacco, lottery, money services, newspapers, you know, stamps, and what it says right here. Okay, so those are exceptions. Anything else in the store is going to earn you wellness points. You can buy toys, you can buy uh, aspirin, you can buy toothpaste, um, whatever. All those other things in the store are going to generate wellness points. So one dollar spent equals one point. So in the case of this receipt right here, five dollars Okay, now I didn't have any coupons in here, but so I should have gotten five wellness points off of this purchase right here, all right? And if you pr get a prescription, that's 25 points you'll get. Now, here on their website, they do make a disclaimer about government-funded prescriptions. You don't quite get uh, 25 points. It wouldn't be that way. Okay, so you might want to have your prescriptions filled there, or, you know, some other places have better <laughs> rewards for their prescriptions or whatever. Okay, coupons and bonus cash do not affect getting points. So if I had used, let's say, uh, $2 in coupons on this receipt right here, I still would have gotten five um, wellness points for this. Okay, the coupons don't subtract. There's no way possible that the coupons is uh, subtract. An exception to that might be the... Uh, load to card digital coupons and using them on online purchases. I know that, that the load to card coupons affect online purchases differently. I've never um, done an online purchase with Rite Aid, so, and it's not worth tracking for me because I always spend well over a thousand dollars a year. That's the thing. So to get the gold, you you know, you're looking at this, you got to get a thousand points, which means spending a thousand dollars. It sounds really daunting, but if you take into account that coupons and bonus cash are paying for most of that thousand dollars, it's really not that that difficult, okay? And this is why I say, you know, you buy all of the free things. I don't care if you don't need 
the preparation H, if it's free, you're going to go and buy the preparation H because it's going to rack up points to get you to gold status. Okay, and then you take the preparation H and you ask all your coworkers, do you need this? <laughs> okay, or you ask your grandma or whoever, you can give it away, you can donate it, you can sell it for a dollar, do whatever you want with the preparation H, you got it for free, okay? Um, and that's the way you kind of have to look at it. Anything that's a money maker or a free item, if you go after those items every week, it's going to make a difference, okay? And you're going to use your, your bonus cash that you got last week to pay for the things that you got this week, okay? So it really cuts down on the actual amount of cash that you're actually um, spending in the store, okay? Um, oh, and how can you tell? Because see on the receipt, it doesn't tell you how much um, you have right here. And I actually have my sister's card logged in here. I have to cover up her name and her card number because it shows you this. So if you log into your account, on Rite Aid's website, and you go over to the dashboard, it'll pull up this screen. Here's where you can see how much bonus cash you have available to spend. Um, lots of, see these all other member savings right here? That's like bonus cash that I use, probably digital coupons, I don't know. If you look over here, here's where it has my wellness point progress. And here's where it's going to track where it's at. So this card has a 1,100 wellness points right now so this card has earned gold status again for next year and i'm going to talk about that here um so how long are you going to keep it now i already had gold discount from last year i spent thousand dollars last year um but let's say let's say you hit that thousand points today on september the 19th of 2018 you're going to maintain your gold status on your card until december of 2019 all the way into next year Okay, but keep in mind, and to have gold status in 2020, the year after that, you're going to have to spend another thousand dollars at some point in 2019. So each year, you just you you have to get that wellness these wellness points right here have to get up to a thousand every year, and that'll keep keep it maintained for you. Okay, I mean I've been doing this for seven years, just about at Rite Aid, and um. And every year, I you know, I spend that $1,000 at least on every card so that it maintains that gold discount. Um, if you have silver status on December 31st this year, when January the 1st of 2019 comes, you will still have silver status. Okay? So it works the same way regardless silver or gold. Whichever one you have on December 31st of this year, that's what you're going to have on January 1st of next year. That's the way that it works, okay? Um, and then, let's say you're not sure if you can you can still get to that gold status by the end of the year. I just wanted to run some numbers by you. Um, I counted, there, not counting this week, there's 15 more sales weeks um, before December the 31st. There's like the 30th and the 31st is like a Sunday and a Monday. So that counts. You can do it then as well. And um, so 15 weeks left in this year. Um <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about, you know, for sales cycles where new deals might come out 15 times. Um, if you're at 300 points right now, you need 700. That means spending $47 per week for the next 15 weeks at Rite Aid, okay? And if you're at 500, you need uh, 500 more points. That's $34 per week you need to spend. See, so it's really not a lot if, you, if you're if you consistently shopping and going in there every week and um, buying the things, you know, that you can use and whatever, um, it, it really, it, it adds up fast. Um, if you're at 700 points, you only need 300 more to get there. That's only $20 a week that you need to be spending. Okay. Anyways, I hope that answers the questions. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, leave them in the comments. I read all the comments. <laughs> all right. Talk to you later.